Well, pretty sure we were all surprised when the Sonic Forces trailer dropped yesterday when we found out that the ultimate life form himself, Shadow the Hedgehog, seemingly turned to the dark side once again. Or maybe he never left? Maybe the true dark ending for Shadow the Hedgehog is actually canon? Probably not. But it is very interesting to see how Shadow is once again a villain for Sonic Forces and I've seen tons of theories online already. Some claim different dimensions, some claim it's Shadow from Sonic Adventure 2 when he was still evil, and some believe in mind control, and these are all interesting explanations for Shadow once again battling Sonic. My opinion on Shadow being a villain again, I personally think it's awesome. I feel like Shadow for the longest time has been a tough character for Sonic Team to write for and explain his absences and his appearances after the whole SA2 mess where Shadow lost his memory and you know he was trying to find out everything in Heroes, then he starts having doubts about humans and you know starts to ignore his past by the end of Shadow the Hedgehog, and by the end of it he's working for Gun in Sonic 06. It's very much a clusterfuck of different stories that make Shadow's story seem so overly complicated and arguably Shadow is the best when he's some sort of anti-hero similar to Shadow the Hedgehog. I'd actually say Shadow in Sonic 06 is very boring. He has zero personality and the only redeeming part of his part of the game is that he's essentially a second Sonic. I don't know, I feel like ever since 06 when Sega decided to take Sonic into more radical and gimmicky situations, Shadow just kind of faded away. He was there, you know, in references or, you know, party games, but that's about it. Without Shadow's past or some story about him being confused or being in the middle of light and dark, Shadow doesn't really have a personality or reason to be there. So I'm glad that Shadow is a villain in Sonic Forces again, because him being a rival that matches him in speed, power, and with him having his own strengths over Sonic is the Shadow I know and love. Alright, sorry, I got a little sidetracked with the whole many history lesson, but I feel like in a way it was necessary to maybe understanding why he is a villain in Forces, in a story development kind of thought process, it kind of helps explain how Eggman was able to take over the world, because you know, you got the ultimate life form on your side. And it also helps explain why Shadow isn't there with Sonic to fight against Eggman. But in terms of what I personally think is the reason for Shadow being evil in Forces, I have to say it's gotta be some sort of mind control in some sort of format, or maybe it's not the real Shadow. Are we just gonna forget the countless Shadow androids from Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog? Sure, they all destroyed at the end, but this means that Eggman can obviously create more. In fact, this kind of helps explain almost all the villains in the trailer. Shadow has his android buddies, Artificial Chaos have existed since SA2, and this might be a more improved version of recreating Chaos. Metal Sonic is just Metal Sonic, I mean, the dude has had countless versions and models over time, so that's very easily explained. Only thing that I can't explain is Zavik and the new villain, Infinite. We're all going to get some sort of explanation during the game's plot, yeah. But in terms of speculating for what we might find out when the game releases this fall, I'm going to stick with my mind control idea or the artificial recreation idea. We'll just have to see this upcoming 2017 holiday.